All right, let's go ahead and start some uh, examples with uh, finding derivatives of functions that have square roots in them. So uh, here, example one, find the derivative of f of x equals the square root of x minus 4 uh, at x equals 13. So um, going back to our definition of the derivative, that's going to be f primed of 13 uh, equals the limits as h goes to 0 of f of uh, 13 plus h minus f of 13 all divided by h. Okay, so uh, now we just got to figure out what's f of 13 plus h, what's f of 13, and we'll go from there. So uh, coming up here, f of 13 plus h is going to be what? Well, f of x is the square root of x minus 4, so f of 13 plus h is the square root of 13 plus h minus 4. All right, and if we simplify that, that's going to be the square root of uh, h plus 9. Okay, so how about just f of 13? So it's actually pretty much going to be the same stuff, just without the h. Uh, it's going to be the square root of 13 minus 4, which is the square root of 9, uh, which we know is 3. Okay, so um, we have those. Now let's go ahead and take these and put them into here. Uh, into here. So this equals the limit as h goes to 0 of the square root of h plus 9 uh, minus 3 all divided by h. Alright, so what do we do now? Well, um, here, we've actually seen some limits uh, in the a few videos ago uh, that were sort of related to this. So what we did was, uh, you know, if we do direct substitution right here, then we end up with a 0 over 0, right? And we can't do that. Um, but the trick we did is we multiplied by the uh, conjugate of the top and the bottom here. So uh, if we do that, um, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by root h plus 9, uh, and now plus 3. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, multiply the bottom by the same thing, h plus 9, and then plus 3. Uh, careful with our parentheses here. Okay, so um, how's that help us? Well, uh, this equals the limit as h goes to 0 of what? So on the top we just FOIL, right? First gives us uh, h plus 9, right? Uh, outer is plus 3 root h plus 9, inner is minus 3 root h plus 9, so outer and inner cancel, and that's the idea, okay? Um, and then last is minus 3 times plus 3, which is minus 9. All right, so then on the bottom uh, we just have h times root h plus 9 uh, plus 3. Right, and make sure that uh, you keep these parentheses in here, they are uh, necessary. Okay, so now um, let's do some cancellation right here before we move on to the next step. Uh, this is going to equal, well what, plus 9 minus 9, okay, those are going to cancel, that's good. So now all we have left on the top is just h. So uh, this h on the bottom is just out here by itself, so we can cancel it with this h up here. So now all that's left on top is a 1, so what we really have is a limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over root h plus 9 plus 3. And now we can drop the parentheses because the uh, other h is gone. So now we can do direct substitution, right? So this is just going to be what? Uh, it's going to be 1 over, uh, if we do direct substitution, this is 0 plus 9, okay, which is just 9. So we have root 9 uh, plus 3. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So this is just 1 over 6. Right? And that's uh, the answer for number 1, for example 1. Uh, let's go ahead and do another example in the next video.